Walking cricket is aimed at people aged 50 plus. Uh, the majority of our players are semi-retired or retired. We do have players that are in their 70s and a couple that are even in their 80s. Um, it's aimed at people who are just discovering the sport for the first time or coming back and playing the game that they used to love. The rules are essentially the same as, as cricket in general. Uh, we play it generally indoors. Um, you can score runs in much the same way. The main difference is that anywhere in the game of cricket where you would normally run, you have to walk. So batsmen have to walk between the wickets, bowlers can only walk up to bowl, and the fielders can only walk to retrieve the ball. So you don't need to be super fit to play walking cricket. It is a social fun activity. Um, it's played indoors, so there's not a lot of space to play with. And it is aimed at people who have less mobility. And it, it, the clue is in the title that it, it's a little bit of a, a lower level intensity form of the game. There is a competitive element to it. Some players play in festivals. We run our own festivals locally, and we've taken part in festivals over in Staffordshire uh, when they've hosted us there. And the people that take part in those do want to be a bit more competitive, and they enjoy that element of it. But we don't force everyone to play. These don't impact the normal weekly hub sessions that people take part in, so that people who aren't bothered about that competitive element don't have to miss out. Normally it's a very competitive but quite social game, it's quite an edge to it. Uh, we play the normal game of cricket a little bit slower, but it is supposed to be walking, not running. Well, I think it's uh, something different, less energetic, less injuries occur. And I thought, well, why not? We'll give this a go and meet some nice people. The social element is probably the, the key thing about walking cricket. We've got groups of people together who ordinarily may not have met. They form friendships on the back of it and they've got their own little social groups. So that element of doing things that are away from the walking cricket sessions is, is one of the, the, the best things about it in my opinion. All information about our walking cricket hubs can be found on our website. Uh, we have five around the county and uh, all the details on how to find them, the cost to get involved and when they are is all on the website. <laughs>